Oh, what's up, everybody? Here, wait one second. One second. All right, what's up, everybody? So, I am now playing a blue cane game, I think. I go red, I don't know yet. But I'm playing a cane game in Challenger. This is a high Challenger game. We have TSM Sven. Obviously, lots of Challenger players here. This isn't my main, so no border, sadly. But they have uh, Ryu is playing Irelia. Moriarty is like a sick high Challenger uh, mid laner. Young Jack. He's a friend of mine. I forget what role he mains, though, but he's Challenger as well. Sleepy's a Challenger support, and Lil' Kanyan. I forget who that is. That's somebody who's well-known, but I can't put my finger on the name. Either way, we got a pretty good game for us here. A Rengar versus Kane matchup. These are two very, very fun champions here that are to play and to watch, so this is definitely going to be an interesting game. I think if we play our best, it should be a freebie, so it looks like Quinn mid. Uh, both my solo lanes are auto-filled is the thing that I had to be cautious of. So I checked OPG, and of course I know these guys because I play in Challenger quite often, like almost every day, like the past three years. So I know everybody in like Challenger and Master pretty well, so I know what role these guys main and uh, you know how consistent they are. I mean, both are pretty good on auto-fill, so I'm not too scared. He is a mid-main, he's not a top main. Um, I forget what team he's on right now. But definitely this game looks exciting. I think this one could be a freebie. So. You're pretty confident for an um. Okay, Rengar is going over there to trinket that bush. I'm going to try and trinket this bush. They might be waiting there to kill it. Nope. Um. If they don't want a leash, it's fine. But I think I'd prefer a leash against a champion like Rengar. Um. So I don't think they're going to leash here. That's perfectly fine. It's a Zyra Khan, so they're... I'm gonna scope you in. Okay, so they are actually gonna leash me, so this is great. Um, be doing a pretty strong pathing. We just need to make sure we know where Rengar starts. This is one of my favorite pathing in the game right now for a lot of junglers. So Rengar looks to be starting red. And, uh, let's see. So, yeah, because uh, Quinn leashed, so that's pretty obvious. Rengar started red. So it actually is Quinn top. I really mid. So I'm gonna be doing this. This pathing is the quickest to level three and the quickest to level six. So it's very good for um, you know getting to be early on. It's the only issue is is you give up a lot of early map pressure. So I don't know. Oof, there's Rengar. Okay, so he showed on the map. So if he shows over there, that means that he's going to be farming my entire top side camps. I'll farm his entire bot side camps. Pantheon just needs to play very smart and safe right there. This is warded, so they know that I'm here. So this, him knowing that I'm here means that he will rotate into my jungle. So you just got to be very cautious of this. I'm not going to smite this just in case. I can save my smite for the blue buff. If they head over, obviously I'll smite it. But just need to make sure that we're always, always, always watching... Both mid and bot. This, this can go sour very, very quickly. Okay. Very, very aggressive right there, but worked out pretty well, I think. Okay, I think we get out too. Um, so this guy's taking my all my camps over there. That's eh, pretty shitty, but I'm gonna base right now, get a good base. Then I'll come straight to his bot side and hopefully, hopefully I can uh, get a camp or two down there. I, I know for a fact my entire top side's gone, so I'm not even going to try and save it. I'm just going to try and get what I can. Um, that's pretty good, I think. I had to use my flash, but that's perfectly fine. I believe Lucian used both of some, so that's very, very nice for us, honestly. So I could just play off camping their bot whenever. Sven, TSM Sven is very fucking good, so... Definitely looking forward to having him as my AD carry. This is warded. Oh no. Okay, they have something warded. Zalasar is rotating towards me. I guess this is warded. Actually. I'm pretty put behind off all this fucking weird walking around shit. Kill this plant. Thought so.
Damn, that's really unfortunate for us. Okay, but bot two v two, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm really put behind right now. Ugh. Your team just zoned me so hard. We could farm these camps though, so that's pretty good. I should have just backed off, I think. Stayed around for way too long. That was my bad, honestly. I think he's gonna walk to my jungle right now. I don't think my mid's gonna help me out. I don't know. Might not have a trinket. I'll ask him. I'm just gonna base. Yeah, it's, it's kind of rough. Don't really get much assistance from solo lanes, but honestly, you just gotta get used to it. So right now, walking into my jungle is very dangerous, but I'll hold my E and just Q whichever way that might be. Okay, we got this support in. So, I actually didn't die here. It's great. Things are looking up. He's probably over towards his um scuttle that you spawn. So I didn't want to like imagine going over there. It's kind of scary. I will stay in my jungle for now, just gotta stay away from the bushes. I believe my Gromp will be respawning soon. I mean, he might just go for it as soon as it spawns. So I gotta be very careful. People always like auto path, but you have to be very careful because if you think he might be there, then you gotta go the safest pathing that you go. So obviously, he's over in this bush. I don't know if he could jump on me, but I'm just gonna do it right here. Oh, yeah, look. Uh, I knew that he would be there, so obviously what I do there is just wait there. I am no mere you said it. So just care. Oh, nice. Well played. Alright, the minions got him. Pretty unfortunate. Yeah, this guy's like double my CS because that early gank I gave for bot. See, but it's kind of just like investing into your team. I feel like it was a good investment because now my bot lane's super ahead and it's a Zaya Rakan. I don't think Rengar can carry over a Zaya Rakan. If it was just Zaya alone, I don't know. But it's, you know, one of the most OP bot lanes in the game. Okay. Should be another free kill right here. Sweet. Nice one. That was good. So. Yeah, see, sometimes, honestly, Kane's main objective for playing games is, like, farming a lot. Sometimes you don't really need to farm that much. Like, if you can help out your team, like, at the end of the day, you're a jungler. So, you gotta do what a jungler's job is. And if you have good players, you gotta snowball your team, you know? I think this is boarded, that's why she backed off so quickly. So this, if they know that I'm down here, then Rango's just gonna go to my blue. Just common sense, but yeah, as I was saying, um, at the end of the day, you're a jungler, so your objective and what you do as a player is you jungle. So if it means you gotta give up camps and uh, pressure to get your team ahead, then you do it. That's obviously, I mean, if you guys have TSM spent on your team, this is what you do, but most of the time, you're gonna be playing for yourself, so don't worry. Kane's great for either or. He can do, he can do a lot. That's why I love him as a champ. He's so diverse in things he does and the way that he plays. This game, I don't think I want to go. Wait, I went electrocute instead of dark harvest. Oh god, I'm trolling. <laughs> I was so used to running electrocute for so long that I accidentally went this stupid uh, this rune. I actually do not really use this anymore. Man, I really is broken. Use Louise. Yeah, I haven't gotten electrocute in so long. That's so funny that I accidentally did that. Do not run electrocute, guys. I do not think it's very good. Dark Harvest is way better. I was just um, making food in Q, so I, I just like autopilot and off. Well, I mean, electrocute's not that bad. It's, it's 
specifically strong early game, but definitely make it work. No matter what. I think, yeah, if this guy helps me walk in the jungle right here to take camps, I might even be able to find Alistar again. I don't know exactly what he's doing. Alright, so uh, this homie's gonna help me out. As soon as I is done shoving the wave, we should take Dragon. See, you never really want to solo Dragon. A lot of people ask me about soloing Dragon. I feel like you shouldn't ever. You should almost always do it, like, with your team. Solo Dragon, you just give up so much, like... It just takes too much time on champs like Kane. Like, other champs, they could do it easier. Yeah, sure, but... A champ like Kane, I don't know, just... It's too, it's too much of a time investment. So, yeah, we should be taking, uh, the tower for that. Alrighty. Taking this guy's blue buff as well, since he has my blue, I could see that. His inventory, or his, uh, buffs that he has on right now, active. We traded towers and got a dragon, so I think that's overall good. We sent three top to kill Panth. We didn't get a kill, but dragon per kill is definitely for it. Um, I think I'll get boots right now. Blue or red form, which either, which either form I'm going. I actually might be doing one of my, um, something that I haven't shown people in a while, but there's actually a bruiser blue form build you can do. It's like Ninja Tabby, Black Cleaver, Dust Blade, and then like GA. It's actually pretty good, because, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but a while ago they all, um, they buffed his R, so your R does so much damage. So if you're just like in fights long enough, I mean, you could just fucking do so much in a fight if you get a good combo off alongside with your R. Now, obviously, Red Cane's probably better in most scenarios, but I feel like Bruiser Blue Cane build definitely has some, uh, some light to it. I mean, whichever form I get first, I think that's the form I, I will be going. 80%. Sweet. That was free. Right now, our blue and red orb bars are kind of the same. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's actually two bars. One's invisible and one's visible. Whichever you have more of is obviously the more visible. So, um, yeah, right now my blue is actually more of, but they're about the same. So, we're just going to do this rift. You can actually drag it out. Um, I don't know that very well. Let me just put this back over here. Make sure that we don't de-aggro it. I mean, this is a free objective, so just take it and get on our way. Sweet. Don't need to use it immediately. A lot of people would use it to, like, take this tower, but if the tower's free, you really don't need to use it. Honestly. Sweet. Alright, now we can probably use this to take two. Red just spawned, so. I'm gonna wait for Rift to do its job and then I'll head back up. Okay, I was gonna say, I could defend bot if it's dead. We just gotta make sure that we get out here. Yeah. I'd use some flashes, but I think that was overall worth. Alright. Well, I got her, so that's good. And uh, Zaya got Alistar there, so I think that's pretty, pretty nice. Sadly, she does die to Rengar. So, like I said, I will be doing my Bruiser Blue Cane build. This is something I actually haven't shown to anybody in a while. I showed it to my stream a long time ago. I actually found this build out in solo queue. Because I, I was wanting to go Red Cane. And um, this was back when your runes were like completely different. Like, you would take um, Fervor. And then you would take, uh, I think it was Thunderlords. Take Thunderlords um, when you go Blue Cane. And then Fervor when you go um, Red Cane. 
and I was like, I was, I was like, had fervor and everything. You know, obviously that's not that good on blue king, but I had fervor, and I was like, damn, I really just need my form because it was like 20 minutes in, and I was formless. So I was like, okay, I got my blue form. I'm just gonna go it. And I was already getting like black flavor and shit. So once I did it, I was like, wait, this actually isn't that bad. And I tried it a couple more times on an account that uh, I bit off stream because I, I was streaming all the time back then. And it just, it went really well. So, and I'm glad to show you guys this. Don't think anybody else has been doing this. Obviously, yeah, I wish I had Electrocute. I mean, uh, not Electrocute, fucking Dark Harvest. <laughs> Shit's not that good, but yeah, you're pretty hard to kill to be honest. I think ideally the best runes to run would be Dark Harvest and Ravenous Hunter. Instead, I have Relentless Hunter and uh, Extra, so it's not the best rune setup, but I think we're definitely uh, fine. This game seems pretty free. We have a fed Ben. I'm pretty fed myself. I think he's gonna jump on me. Yeah, I thought so. A little does he know, I'm actually kind of tanky. Uh, I don't do that much damage though, <laughs> as you can see, but definitely being tankier is fine. Oh. Both the Pantheon cleanup. We just have so much damage. I think this is actually a really, really, uh, really good game for Bruiser Blue Cane. Um, so obviously, if you're wondering what the build's gonna be, I'm gonna go Black Cleaver and do an Executioner, obviously, to stop uh, Rengar and Elia. Really, uh, I think I really heals a lot, yeah. Then, um, you know, they have double AD carries, so they're probably gonna have, like, a good amount of healing off that. So overall, they have, like, a decent amount of healing, so Executioner's always fucking good to get. Especially against a champ like Rengar. And, um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. We should be just going to Dragon, so after Executioner, I'd obviously get a Dustblade and then a GA, so I feel like this would be an amazing build, and it's going great so far, so I'm pretty satisfied. This is a kind of a risky Dragon, but I believe in my smite. I don't think Rengar is R, so... Oh, sweet. They did have R. Gotta watch out for really R. I don't know if it's up. We can just back out, we got one for one. So far. Sweet, okay, just turned on the guy that was trying to kill our back line. Oh, my Q didn't go all the way off. Damn. Yeah, that's what I was trying to back away from. I think we all die. Yeah, it really is insane, guys. I am getting kind of big though, so this is this isn't too bad for us, honestly. Yes, we didn't all die, so that's actually not that bad. We did get Infernal. I'm very happy about that. I'm sad because Zai is probably gonna lose the red here to Quinn, but I think that was pretty good overall. I th definitely think, think, think that once I'm 11, oh my god, I'm gonna be doing a lot more in fights. I'm really sad I didn't get the Lucian there. I thought he would have been easy as fuck, but sadly live with like a sliver of HP. My second Q didn't go off because I died. Oh well. Ah, well, happens. So now we're 11. That's great. Yeah, I'm still behind in XP and whatnot because obviously, I mean, KP is what's more important, especially for a jungler. So my kill participation. I'm uh, I've been in a decent amount of the kills in the game. Or hasn't really. He's been farming a lot, so not really going up burst build either. He's kind of doing what I'm doing. He's building like a bruiser, building bruiser and assassins. Honestly, not that bad. Sometimes, um, either of us can really one shot each other. I can get close to it eventually, but yeah, we can't really do that much to each other. Okay, so yeah, that healing is just nuts. Oh, Lord. Jesus, Ryu just popped off. Irelia is insane. Yeah. That's what it's like to play against an LCS player, guys. Man, that guy just went insane. I'm so glad my team is awful. Like, we had four focusing him, and he still got off all that damage. 
We just had a really good setup for the fight. I mean, I think we all around have a better comp, so. You know, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. Now that I have Executioner, I could be doing a lot more damage. I just need Dusk. I think we can only get the tower here, yeah, because if we die here, they're just gonna do Baron. So this is the part where people throw. Like, this is how you throw. You have to know how to base, so. Definitely just gonna take this big Krug and then back off, I think. They try and Rengar R. Yeah, they are. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Try and Rengar R here. Okay, sweet. Actually, really easy. Alright, we could just back off. Killed Rengar again for free. That's actually really nice. I'm gonna be doing, as, as you see, gradually you just start doing a lot more damage. It's hard to kill you and you do a lot of damage. And because you have, by the way, you should, at this point, as a jungler, you always wanna get rid of your bot for control wards. But yeah, at this point, I mean, it's harder to kill you and you can get off a lot more damage. So the more you can cycle in your combos, you know, your W, Use, etc., it's more damage you get off. So that's the ideology behind this build. It's harder, like, with so many people to focus, like, there's just so many threats, and they can't, like, one-shot me. Like, they can't ever catch me out and just one-shot me. Because, you know, I have Ninja Tabby and Black Cleaver. And I have my R, so I'm pretty elusive. Alongside with being able to kill just about anybody on their team. So, you know, it feels good. Just walked away or something. I don't know, where did he go? Oh. There you go. Didn't even need to hit my W, that's how much damage I do. And he has Tabby. As I said, your R damage is a lot, guys. So we got a pick, so this pretty much means... This is like the go-to for going to Baron. We're just gonna go to Baron right here. Put that control ward right there, just to know when they're coming. I have a lot of good vision for control wards, so... Obviously, I just don't want to miss my smite here. sure that when you smite you don't smite it at like let's say my smite 760 hp i don't smite it at 760 hp i smite it with the combo of my w and q because i can get that both cast off at the same time so that's how to make sure that you don't get out smited because you know i bet a lot of you guys have you know lost the game or two because you've missed smite. it happens to everybody i used to not be very good at smiting but the more you practice it the better you get and trust me little things like that add up and definitely notice a huge difference for you you can start smiting good. Okay. So I was just trying to zone their backline off. They tried to walk forward. I would have just killed them both. So, Either way, this was a really good game, guys. Uh, full challenger. Solo queue game in NA. Got carried by Zven. D. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Another great video. Glad to, you know, glad to show you everything. Be sure to sub and everything. Love all of you. Peace.